That was cool. I actually worked that time. Hey, everyone. Is there anyone there to wave at? Well, there's two people, apparently. If you're in the chat, can you please say your name or say hi? Or Yeah. One's Rita. She went back in the bedroom. Ah. To watch the show, so it's probably one of her. One of them is her. I don't know. Right. Come on, we've got a great story tonight. Yeah, it's a black shark. You, you're doing the intro. You're doing the introduction, Eric. <laughs> hey, Lorna. I'm gonna show this first. Yeah, it's uh, it's the. Hey, Lorna. I know, Hi. I don't know if it's true. I'm there. Hi, yeah. And uh, I don't know if it's true, but it's the story behind uh, um, the hundred. Really? She's in. She's in Wait. Hold on. Go back. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Such a great you picked a good one, Eric. You did pick a good one tonight. Oh, well, it's just me and yeah. Kids, yeah. Do you know it's um no, you do your introduction first about it. Then I'll uh I'll come well, in. The, the origins I'm gonna read it off. See, so you're gonna have to forgive me. Okay. No, that's the fine. Origins, of the folklore, uh, Black Shock, also known as Old Shock or simply Shook, is yep. part of English folklore and has been recorded in various tales across British Isles. Yeah. Um, see, it's prevalent in Norfolk, Suffolk, the Cambridgeshire Fens, and Essex. It's really interesting. It's all the places I want to go when I come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not not only there, you've got yeah. them. Uh, so many different names. Old Chuck is um, more of a Norfolk name. Yeah. Um, and Scar there's one called Scarf. Scarf, they call it Scarf. Old Chuck, uh, Shucky Dog, Shucky mm -hmm. Monster, Hairy Jack. That's from Lincolnshire Way. Oh. Uh, Gert Dog, Gert Dog, yeah. Somerset. They call him Gert it. Dog in Somerset. Sounds kind of sort of Southern American to me, but there we are. Mm. And it all began. It all kicked off in the 12th century, didn't it? Around uh, Bungay Castle and uh, uh, Blytheborough mm. was the main places. But I said I I I live I lived in the uh, Kington, which is on the Herefordshire Herefordshire border, and wow. the, uh, there's a big following of um, a black dog there, and it all stemmed from a a, a guy called um, hey, Robert Black Vaughan. Yeah, and he he owned. So he ruled the roost around there, and he, he sort of um, had this big manor house and such, and uh, ruled the roost around there. And and the War of the Roses broke out, and anyway, he got he got his head cut off basically. But he he wasn't a nice man at all, mm. quite a nasty man. And um, he was buried in the local graveyard, and apparently they. they he he reappeared again, and he'd come back as this big black dog. Uh, sometimes he'd come back as a big black ball. Wow! Or sometimes he'd come back as a swarm of flies. Hey Ned, who's that? Hey Ned. Ned. Yeah, I can't. I'd say I'm using my phone here. I've got my phone on. I can't see the little writing, right. Catherine. Yes, Catherine, I, I I did it, and it was funny, and I won't repeat it on live here. <laughs> Ah, Charles, my man. Yeah, so uh, he had his head cut off, and he, he's quite an evil man, and he was moved around. Uh, Hargis Court is like it's uh, on the Brilly Road. Uh -huh. um, not very well known, actually. Not very well known in, in folklore, but it's uh, locals know all about it, and it's he he disrupted the uh, market town so much that it all shut down and 
everyone went all for a while. Yeah. Well, I guess the so, last meeting of it was in 2013 near... Now, you're going to have to excuse me because I do not know how to pronounce some of these. Um, Less 10 Suffolk. Sorry, say that again. Least 10 Suffolk. 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 Okay. Suffolk. We pronounce it Suffolk, Norfolk. Okay. But yeah. Apparently, it was uh, the skeleton belonged to a seven foot, 200 pound male dog that they found. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they found a skeleton. Yeah. Uh, That's a big dog. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bloody big dog. Um, thoughts are that it might have been a Great Dane, you yeah. know, trying to analyze uh, what this thing was. It could have been because that they were quite big dogs were quite popular back then. Obviously for guard dogs because mm -hmm. uh, you know back then in the Middle Ages and such it was quite people needed protecting and. Well, I mean, I can see back in the Middle Ages like the dire wolf when that was around. You know, saying yeah. that could be something like it. But and apparently I've seen a video on. <laughs> One of my favorite shows of the whole world, I'll say it every time I'm on, is Paranormal Con on camera. A guy yeah. caught what looked like a dire wolf fighting with his dog out in the woods. Right. Do you know what? Do you know I've not I've not watched that yet, but I've because you've said so much about it, Eric, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a look at it. Yeah, I'm gonna I would, because even Jonathan Downs is one of our guests that we had on. He was on it, and I'm like, I know him. <laughs> ah. Cool. Have you been on it then? I've never been on it, but no, no, you yeah. just watch it. Yeah, I just watch it. It's one of my favorite shows. I'll probably be on it when I get over there, though, if I catch something. Is it a UK one then? Is it? Uh, well, it's on um, Amazon, so I'm sure you could watch it from the UK. No, no, I mean, is it all? Uh, is it a UK company that filmed it? Is it a uh, or American? It's from all over the world. Show. All right. Okay. And what's it called again? Um, paranormal caught on camera. Cool. Oh, I'll have a look for that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Catherine, too. hi. They do make a really big dog, apparently. Um, that's almost the same size as what, what a dire wolf would be. It's a huge dog I've seen on TV uh, many times. Yeah. Um, the black dog. It's not just the black shock or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Harry Jack, we've got in Lincolnshire. It's called Harry Jack in Lincolnshire. Gert dog, Gert dog. <laughs> that sounds that sounds like, like quite, kind of like Southern American to me. Gert dog, you're a Gert dog, man. Um, let me let me answer Lord now first. It's a uh, paranormal caught on camera. Ah, right. I'll have a look for that. I will. I hey, will Laura. have a look for that. Is it like turning cheek kind of program? Like you don't take it too serious, or? Well, I wasn't at first until I saw Jonathan Downs in that. And then, oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. Let me um, read that one out. I know someone here who has a hybrid wolf. It's a huge and beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not they are. Thing. But do you trust them? That's the thing. Right, and and this is well. Do, I I'll tell you. Hey, hello. Hey. He's on our vacation right now. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's away. He's away. Yeah, like he's away for a while. So thanks for popping in, saying hello to us. But once I finally get over there um, and buy my place, I think I'm going to get a couple of dogs too. You don't need protection in in the UK, mate. Well, I know that. But you're safe. I mean, I honestly, can't. you're safe. As, nobody's got any guns and stuff like you have mm. over there. You. You know, it's uh, it's like you might get a bit of road rage on the roads. That's about your only grief you'll come across. Yeah, a lot of people swearing at each other. She loves walls, is what she. Yeah, saying. yeah, it, it's a bit like um, it, it, it is a bit sweary on the roads, but that's as about as far as it goes. And I've known someone complain to next door about having a wind chime in the garden going off. So really, that's <laughs> that, that's the kind that's the kind of thing we get around here. <laughs> the wind chime is too loud. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah that's that, that that's about as far as it goes yeah well i mean yeah. you were talking about nice and i'm like well yeah it might still be a little violent over there but i can protect myself against uh, somebody trying to stab me with a knife better than somebody trying to shoot me with a gun you no, know what I mean? no you're fine unless you go up to uh no i'm not gonna no i'm not gonna say anywhere really because that's not fair on the places but there are there are a few issues with drugs around but if you don't get involved in that world it won't happen to you i'm 65 now yeah. and i've never had any issues anywhere Do you wow. know what i mean mm -hmm. as long as you don't frequent the places that uh you know what i mean as long as you don't go down into the um and look for it you'll be fine you know it's 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 so different honestly uh, yeah you'll you'll love it so laid back um and that goes we, it's we, true it, and that goes it's true eric if art can cause offense well I'm yeah <laughs> yeah yeah honestly i've saw i, I i've heard when i lived in clavelli north devon mm -hmm. there was nearly a fight over a wind chime yeah <laughs> that's how that's how bad it gets eric <laughs> that's pretty mild yeah you know what the worst thing that here happened is that uh two people start firing guns at each other while driving in the car where um i think it was new york last time all oh, right yeah yeah so no, nothing like that we we don't have guns over here yeah. See, I, I I used to shoot. Yeah. Uh, used to up to I think it was nineteen ninety. Yeah, I used yeah. to shoot full ball handgun. I used to shoot three fifty seven Magnum and forty four Magnum. And then there was that um, mass shooting. Uh, I can't remember where it was now. Mm -hmm. And they totally banned them. Bosh. Yeah. And we all got compensated. Okay. And they took them away, but they didn't take them away. They only took them away from like obviously from law-abiding citizens yeah the criminals still had their ones <laughs> <laughs> uh so it, it it didn't alter anything but it's very very rare yeah that there is uh well, yeah, a shooting or, or or something well, like that smaller country compared to uh our country you got yeah. a lot more people bundled together and i would think that would be more violence but there's not and that's what i love about it yeah people allow a fight fisty fight yeah uh, but if you don't put yourself in that situation you'll be i say i've never had any problems over here at all yeah, so, you know and that's the thing my mind has to switch from the stuff that happens here to over there because here if somebody wants to fight me hand to hand which i can do um i'm all, all, all um what do you call it i'm assuming already that they want to try to kill me so yeah i'm gonna to try to kill them you know in a in a hand-to-hand -hand fight but over there no you just want to fight you just want to fight yeah yeah it, well, it won't happen it, it just won't happen anyway mm -hmm. noreen i i just want noreen i just want to thank you today for your post on facebook mm -hmm. What she do? My God, she's been so funny today. Oh, Noreen, yeah. thank you. The post she's put on Facebook today have blown me away. Mm. <laughs> They've been so funny. I'll yeah. have to look at it. I don't think I saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, on, on, on the spooky uh, Facebook page. Mm. Yeah, and her own page too. But anyway, we've gone off subject again. Yeah, that's all right yeah but, you know it shows up as a horse and and some of them have just yeah. one eye like a cyclops yes yeah i got that down here as well i've made some notes the, mm. the, um like you said there was a a, a seven foot skeleton mm. bound and most of it's around uh blytheborough in suffolk and bungay and there was a, a a big storm one night in 1577 where all hell broke loose and uh the door 
on the church they all went to the church for some well i guess they would back then they sort of really believed uh they went into the church and mm. in, in fact the front of the church got scorched and burnt and they went in and this uh <clears throat> black shock killed a couple of people really wow and at the same time in bungay uh it happened again. Another couple of people killed. Does anyone in the chat know it, anything about the Black Shook? Have you got any stories to tell us? Well, you know what uh, Vivian told me? She said there's a church near her um, that has the you know those old fashioned doors. Um, yeah. That there's like a uh, looks like a claw mark right across the door. Bloody hell! Uh, yeah, she's uh, Vivian's in Cambridge here, isn't she? Yeah. Can't wait for the zombie, zombie a copper apocalypse. I can't. That's another word I can't say. A copper apocalypse. Lips. Yeah, apocalypse. I can, yeah. I can wait for it. It can happen after I'm long and gone. So <laughs> yeah, no, no. I, I'm I'm trying to. You know, I've I've suffered a bit. Like, cause I'm just I've split up recently with my missus and I'm a bit down in the dumps. But I'm still trying to be positive about everything. Yeah, you know. I don't watch the news because that's depressing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to be positive about everything. I'm going out investigating, and that's good. Uh, you be positive. It's the only way to live. I mean, yeah. even though there's people that are angry. When we were talking about this yesterday, on uh, when I was with Viv, because um, oh, I, I watched the show. It's it. brilliant. And uh, and it's like you just gotta smile at people i mean even if they're grumpy just smile say hi how was your day you it know? can change that it can change them mm -hmm. if you see someone down in the dumps and you stop and chat and smile at them it can change their day it really can oh, absolutely you know she says that her generation is desperate need of frustration release yeah well uh, i'm only i turned 53 this year so you are a mere boy, Eric. Mere yes. boy, you are. Trouble is, it goes once you get to that sort of age, the time flies by so quickly. Mm. Um, and it's scary. It's scary because now I'm 65 now, mm. and do you know I, the last 10 years have gone so quick? And I'm thinking, wow, in 10 years' time, I'm going to be 75. Yeah, and. Uh, I'm getting towards the end kind of thing maybe now, uh, i'll still do it when i'm 80 so <laughs> yeah that's the way i look at it but um, i can still walk around when i'm 100 i'll do it but <laughs> but you know what i'm trying to say is like when you when you're really young you don't think about things like that but when you get older you do you think bloody hell I'm, i might only have 10 years left to live do you know what i mean well, as you know, you could let it be a hundred and something. So, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I plan to live until I'm a hundred and three. So, well, my fa <laughs> Charles. Hey, Charles. Hey, Charles. Yes, Every love. day, seventy. Yeah, Charles, you're 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 on every show. I love I love seeing you. Yeah, on the uh, he he does on all the shows. I love seeing everybody that comes on. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it, it's such a lovely community, isn't it? Yeah, it can be. I mean, you got your trolls, but, you know. Mm. Yeah. I, I have, uh, at least all the people that are on our shows are, are beautiful people. Yeah. And it, they're all over the world. We get them from oh, all yeah. over the world. Yeah. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. I am because uh, I say I've gone through some crap at the moment, and and this is sort of lifting me up. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I, I was on last night with a chap, uh, a, a local chap, Andy, done a pop. That's why I didn't see you, you guys last night live, because I was talking to him, and he's a local man, <clears throat> and I was on his podcast. And we was talking about all the stuff around Northampton, and we was on for nearly two hours, and the time just went. Oh yeah, it you does. know, yeah. 
you know, his experiences and, and such. Yeah, it's wonderful. And then going back to the black truck, um, there's a festival apparently. Um, yeah. I don't know where. <laughs> just, just, just missed it, I think. Yeah, it was just happened too. Um, I'm sure a lot of people know. Oh, not the one I want. <laughs> It'll be in Suffolk or Norfolk. Okay. Oh, here. Yeah, 24. Um, Festival Parade. Don't want that. <laughs> hmm. Blackshuckfestival.com. <laughs> right. I think Viv said last night that it was uh, this week or a few days ago. Yeah, they just had it. <laughs> I, I, I wonder how it all started. It because, was um, black and ill omen. It always, you know, you think with black and death and all that, don't you? I wonder if that's why it, how, how it all started. Well, I don't know. Apparently, the way I was reading it is that um, it's a harbinger of doom. So yeah. You, you get, like you said, sometimes it's only got one eye. Like a, I think it's kind of a shapeshifter thing. Is it a cryptid or is it a, you know, is well, it a... I mean, the original, ones, cryptid have been cryptid just a, the original ones have just been a big, wolf, or a big dog or a big wolf, you know what I mean? Yeah. But do you think uh, it might be a cryptid creature or is it just like a spirit type? I think it could be more like a spirit type, you know. Yeah. If it's, if it's a true thing, I mean, I would have to do an investigation and find out. But do you get the same kind? Do you get that? Well, you obviously, got the beast to Bray Road. Yeah. Which I guess is kind of a similar thing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, the bigger wolf that they're talking about, well, you know, it could be a spirit, a uh, protecting spirit, for all I know. You know, like uh, um, elemental or whatever you call them. Yeah. Because it, it, you think it would be protecting or it could be like the uh, a version of the Grim Reaper for all I know. You know. Yeah. Uh, a, a lot of stories, they say it's got like chains around its neck. Mm -hmm. That makes like sense. Big iron chains. Like a hellhound, I would think, but, you know. Hellhound, yeah. There's there's quite a lot of uh, songs, rock songs written about Black Dog. Yeah, you know uh, metal songs. No. Uh, yep. Yeah, Mothman. Yeah, that's uh, a, yeah the Moth. Did you know I'm fascinated with the Mothman prophecy? Well, I, you, I know the, I uh, about, you know what I found out about the Mothman? I found out that it is not a Mothman. I found out that it might be a Banshee. Right. I watched the film the other night, uh, The Mothman Prophecy. Who, who, who started in that? I can't remember. Well, a good film. Oh, it was um, Richard Gere, I think. Oh, yeah? Huh. Richard Gere, yeah. The Mothman Prophecies. Well, okay, yeah, I've seen that. That's a good. That's a good film. Yeah, that was quite a good film because it was all at Point Pleasant, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. But yeah, that's a that's a similar sort of sort of thing. He, he um, harbor, harboring of a death and same same as the black shirt. But the black sometimes the black shirt protected people. Yeah, that's what I heard. I read. I was gonna say that. Yeah, and guided people. I guess if if you that thought was, you was like, oh, I don't know, Richard Gear, yeah, it was mm -hmm. Richard Gear, yeah, quite a good film. Yes, and the venture originated in Ireland. Yeah, yeah, a lot in Ireland going on all my days. Uh, they they're terrified of the Fay. You know they they'll they'll build a road. Around a hawthorn bush and cost yeah. millions. 
rather than go through it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost, almost, and I shouldn't say this on live, but I am. I was so excited about it that I found out it was sold, like, instantly after I found out it was for sale, almost bought a castle in Ireland. You nearly bought a castle in Ireland? Yeah, it was for sale for two million pounds. Um, and then all of a sudden, after finding out all the story about it, somebody bought it already. I'm like, <sighs> my God. But now we're just going to, we decided not to buy a big place. We decided to buy two little places, one in England and one in Scotland, and just go between the two during our trips over there. So. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds better. If I was if I was you, I, I wouldn't even buy anywhere yet. I, I would I would buy a nice camper van and just tour around until we found somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Or hire yeah. one. Hire a like a, a mobile camper van type thing. Yeah. And that's too that's oh. another thing I was thinking of too, is that and yes, Kathy, you're supposed to get a hold of uh, um Dan or yeah, so he can get you on the show. I managed to piss Nova. off the face, she said. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no. what, did, what did you do, Catherine? <laughs> Not loud. Yeah, just let her talk about it on the show when we get her to go on. Yeah. But, yeah, I think that might be, like, somewhat what the black truck might be, too. It might be Faye, for all I know. Yeah. You know, it's so... Um, it can blow you if you think about it too much, you know, because the uh, the paranormal work, it's all paranormal. The whole thing's paranormal, whether it be cryptid, spirit, bloody blahs. You go through everything that's going on. If you think too much about it, it could blow your mind, can't it? Well, it can I mean you think about it? I've experienced in um, quantum physics, so. If you think about quantum physics, time and reality do not exist. So anything that will happen can happen. Mm. Yeah. I added them both on the page. I'm happy to come on. And I'll get a hold of Dan and he'll have you come on. Yeah, come on, Catherine. Yeah. We need some guests on the show. We do. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? No, it's gone now. You know, I've got I've got early onset. Oh, really? Oh, and Tim, it's a hell of a story, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'd love to hear it. I would love to hear it. Early onset of what, Tim? Alzheimer's. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I'm so forgetful, Eric. Well, I mean, so am I, but... No, oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Did they tell you that? Or... No, 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 it's not official. Okay, well, but... then you don't have it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you know, I, 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 I'm I, just fed up with forgetting stuff all the time. Well, yeah, <laughs> and that happens to me, too. I mean, especially since I have um, attention deficit disorder, I forget things. The second after I think about it and get my mind on something else, I'm... Do you ever go in? Uh, look, I'll go into the kitchen and think, what have I come here for? <laughs> well, that happens to everybody, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, I'm intrigued by Catherine's story now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's going to have to come and have a chat. We've not had a chat on an, on the weird room, have we? We're not no, having a guest on there. Yeah, I will yeah. go. I tried to get Emma to come on, but she's she's so shy. Yeah, but Tim, she's so she's that. got so many stories to tell. Mm. He goes, come on, Tim, don't scare us like that. No, we don't want being frightened. <laughs> no, with your do, onset. Uh, do, do you like the uh, the old horror films, Eric? Do you, do uh, you watch the old horror films? I, I've watched horror films all the way back to when movie or movies started being on TV. Yeah, I, I, I'll have a nightmare. If I watch them, I, I have nightmares about them. I don't. You know, I, I, I don't like... I watched The Crow I, uh, last night, the night before. You know The Crow? Yeah. With Brand Brandon Lee? Mm-hmm. I like that film. 
No, it's, but right, it's not. Good. It's not really. It's not really scary. It's just a story to tell. I enjoyed that. Yeah. I'm waiting for the uh, planter to move around, but <laughs> by itself, <laughs> it does. Yeah, oh, I believe it. I've seen it happen. Yeah. On, not yours happen, but I've seen it happen on TV before. Yeah, um, it's there. I've got it on goodbye, but um, it's just a little table from the cheap old table, and I wrote the letters on, and uh, it sits there next to me, next to me plant. <laughs> <laughs> I should have but, you. Yeah. What I'm thinking about doing that on a wooden table. You can buy these beautiful wooden coffee tables, like or whatever, and doing yeah. that on. Well, that's all I've done. Yeah. I, I actually wrote the letters. I marked it all out with a pencil first, mm -hmm. get it, you know, some kind of, and then Sharpie, the Sharpie pen. Oh, wow. But we, 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 we've taken it, we take it with us on uh, investigations because it folds up. Yeah. And then it sits there, and sometimes it'll have a glass of wine on it, or a beer, mm -hmm. or both. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, there it is. Yeah. Cool. I want to get one. Te I want to get one on my gravestone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. That'd be nice. Ah, that's a good. That's that's a good idea, actually. <laughs> yeah. 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 Lorna. Oh, I love horror movies where you jump out of your skin. Ah, uh, no! Like horror movies where you jump out of your skin when things just appear. I love that. I love jump scares. I, I can watch. I can watch them, but I do have nightmare uh, nightmares about them. I mean, I, I I go investigating regular, and uh, oh. we've had some amazing things happen, and I'm fine with that. But mm. horror films, because it's so gory and horrible, I think I I just yeah. don't like them. Hmm. You know, yeah. Well, the, that just fascinates me because I wanted to get into um, horror movie uh, prop making. Mm. Yeah, you'd be good at that. In ten minutes, that's okay, Lorna. You can always catch up if we go up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Dan's off uh, in Cumbria way. So is that on your list, Eric? Are you going to go up there? Oh, everything's on my list. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got enough live times, are you? Nope, I don't. So far on Google Maps, I have 395 places that I'm going to. Blimey. And that's just on Google Maps. I got more written down. Yeah. But go to the ones that we've all told you about first. Yep, I am. Well, I'm definitely got, doing the Ram in first. Yeah, and you've got to come to my my area and come up, uh, come up to the uh, um, St John's Churchyard. Have you have you looked at my videos on my YouTube channel? I've seen some of them. That's my, my it's a, story. Yeah, it's it really it's really good. And obviously, it's free. You know, you just go in there. It's it, it's great, and you get stuff in the daytime as well as at night. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, but Robert Vivian was talking about that last night to me. Um, um, Spike Mulligan's headstone. It says, "I told you I was ill." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spike Mulligan in 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 the um, graves yeah, down in uh, Highgate Cemetery. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, as yeah. Well as, um, I'm doing the seven around London. Mm. I've never, I've never been to Highgate Cemetery. No, you got to go. <laughs> oh no, yeah. Well, I'm going to be dragging you around. So yeah, I'm looking forward. I'm so looking forward to meeting you and coming. To, you know, you yeah. coming over here and it'll be, it'll be great. Yeah. 
So when's Dan coming back? Is he back on? Is he back home or got another week yet? I think he's coming home this weekend and hopefully he'll be back on. And I'm going to make him pick the subject. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's got to. He's got, he, he must be his to Dan, come on. You're just leaving us here in the lurch. Come on. <laughs> Jimmy calls him sick. <laughs> Jimmy calls him sick. No, bless him. We love Dan. Oh, you will, Lorna. I'll meet me and Rita, and I'll meet everybody that I can when I come over. Yeah, I'll be great, Rita. Yeah, we'll take you around. You can come in some proper pubs. Oh, you only don't have problems. Like, only problem is, is I don't drink. So, oh no, why not? Well. One because of my stomach now, because of the being uh, having surgery. But before I was an alcoholic, so. Oh right. Oh yeah, maybe I not then. Well, you'll have to have an orange juice or something, Carrick. Yeah. We've got uh, just up the road for me. There's this pub called the uh, Artichoke mm -hmm. in Moulton, and they put some footage up on Facebook the other day. Uh, it's just CCTV fo footage, you know, of the cameras around the building. And mm. this this pint of beer moves across the table on its own like this. And it's quite a big table uh, and flops on the floor. Yeah. Just goes off the edge. And uh, I, know, I know you get... Um, you can get liquid on the table that can make things move. But uh -huh. um, the owners tried to debunk it the next day. The table was dead level, uh, wasn't particularly wet. And uh, I, I asked if we could go up and do an investigation up there, and they said, no, no, we don't want any of that up here. It's a bit, we're a bit worried about unleashing something, they said. But... Um, Yes, there's clear as day. This glass going across the table and falling yeah. off the edge. You know. And, and people don't get that sometimes. You can't really unleash anything that isn't already there. <laughs> no. And no. if you do it respectfully, you're not going to piss off whatever is there to begin with. You know no, I mean? no, no, that's right. See, uh, a lot of people do these cleansing rituals before they go investigate. I don't, I've never done any of that. I don't yeah. do it. Uh, I don't, you know, protection, and I, sorry, I, I don't do any of that. I, I can't believe by you saying a couple of words, it's going to stop anything mm -hmm. from attaching itself to you. Wow, you know, yeah, I, I don't I, think I, so either. You know where? You know where that came from? It came from watching TV shows and watching people do that. Yeah. Yeah. How how was you uh, if you just say you're not allowed to follow me home? Bye. Mm. Thank you for thank you for uh, uh coming through and talking to us. You're not allowed to follow me home. You must stay yeah. here. How, yep. That's all how's that oh, okay, then. I won't do that. They they they're spirits of people. They're not going they might go <laughs> you any, well, how is that going to stop anyone from it's following not, you? It's not. You just say, hey, you can go anywhere else you want. You just can't follow me home. But they might, they'll take no notice of that. Exactly. I get rid of people who look all night. Good. Well, I can understand people not wanting them home. With them because of the fact that it will start happening all the time. Mm. It depends on how much studying you want to do of a certain, you know, place. Yeah. Have you got um where you live, Eric? Have you got a lot of uh, places from around you where you could, where you investigate? Or no, there's no. Ever since the the pandemic, um. Everything closed down and nothing's open to do. That's, That's cool. 
Catherine, I specialise in detachments, banishments, and bindings. I can make sure they won't follow follow you. Mm. Well, must be a shaman then. Yeah, because it's the only people that can do that. But I, I respect what you're saying, Catherine. But just by saying something, I, mm. you know, I can't believe that that would just stop them. Yeah. Myself, obviously, if it works, if it obviously it works for some people, but I, I've known people who who do do these cleaning rituals, and they still still get an attachment. Well, there's a difference between just a normal spirit following you home and something bad following you home. Yeah, something bad you have to enter into a contract with to begin with in order for it to follow you home. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know. And but people, I, 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 I just don't believe in it myself. Yeah. Obviously, I respect everyone's opinions, and if they, if it makes them happy to do it, then yeah, go ahead. Uh, my friend, friend of mine, uh, she, she does it. She's got this little ritual she does. I believe it, and uh, seems to, she's happy and it works for her. So, hey ho, well, you know. And that's the whole thing. You got to believe that it's going to work for you. Then it will. You know. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. You yeah. You, uh, it, it's like faith healing, isn't, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. You can believe something so much that it works. Yeah. By voodoo, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. People put curses on you. If you think you're going to die, you will. Won't they? You know what I mean? It's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's all this paranormal stuff can blow you away if you think too much about it. <laughs> well, it can. I mean, you're talking about a whole bunch of possibilities that shouldn't in your own reality not happen, but yet it does. Yeah, yeah, we don't understand none of it. Mm -hmm. Well, do we? No. So you you're going on a um I I watched uh, last night's show today mm -hmm. because I was on with Andy last night uh, yeah so I didn't see it live uh, but you're going you're going on an investigation well I am I don't it's not really an investigation it's a little tiny graveyard um not uh, like another town over um that no one pays attention to and i'm gonna go see if something's there right is it like a big place or sticking pins and dolls no it's a small place it's a small tiny graveyard city owned uh, robert i don't know robert if somebody believes that it yeah will get them, it will, it will. <laughs> yeah like like carrie just said if um that's voodoo if you if, if you believe in the voodoo then it will. Yeah. Yeah, it will. She says uh, she's been a uh, paranormal investigator for 32 yeah. years. And still learning things. Yeah. I think, you learn not, things all I think we're all learning. We're all learning. We don't know. We, we've we not got any sort of uh, anything black and white where we know. Oh, yeah, that's, you know. Yeah, you don't. I mean, you can say, well, yeah, I think it's this, but. Yeah. You got to keep going back and finding out, okay. Ask this I, yeah. I I I believe you've got to. We my local place where I go, mm -hmm. and uh, I think spirit just get to know to know you in these places. Mm. Uh, if you keep going, yeah. A lot of people ask stupid questions and just do stupid. Like move that ball, put that light on. These are like I. They don't want to hear that stuff. I know. You know pissed light off. that up. <laughs> yeah. you're in. Light that up if you're, you know, you think, wow, bloody it. I, I um, although I do use a bit of equipment, I, I like, I, I like um, a camera, and a recorder. Mm. Basically, that's all I use the most. 
Oh, see, I can't um, knock equipment because I make it. So, and that's yeah, I, I know, I know. I you can't. I've, I've had intelligent answers on uh, REM pods and K twos, but if I just go off willy nilly, and um, I, I think I've had the most response on a uh, recorder with oh, yeah. EVP. You know, but yeah, I you know. Um, if you look on my YouTube channel, you'll mm. see that um, we've had some brilliant responses with K2s. Oh, yeah. You know, sensible answers. No electricity around. Mm. You know, uh, it, but it's just phenomenal. It is phenomenal, you know, phenomenal. But well, um, if I do any of mine live, what I want to do is I want to have a camera filming my camera to show that what I'm doing is not setting off whatever equipment I'm using. Yeah. You know I mean? So you have that yeah, you, backup, yeah. of backup of a backup of a camera. You know, I was like, you know, putting my phone close to it won't set it off. You know, I don't have any radios on me because sometimes radios, two hand, two way radios can set off. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even left detectors. So yeah. Even lighting a lighter. Uh, one of those click lighters that you use for lighting candles and stuff. Yeah. That electric spark can set off a K2 meter. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you're too close to it, yeah, mm. we'll go. Mate, uh, putting it on airplane mode don't make no difference to a K2. Yeah. People don't realize that because it's mm. not, it's not the, um, the wireless frequency that's coming mm. through that sets off. It's the power from the phone, isn't it? Yeah. It's the electricity so in the phone. The electric spark. Yeah, so it's, it's electricity in the phone. So just putting it on airplane mode don't make no difference at all. If nope. you if you go in onto airplane mode, is if you're using a voice recorder or something like that, or using the phone to do a, a EVP. Yeah. But the K two. Don't make no difference if you're on airplane mode or whatever. You just got to keep all electricity away from it. I didn't realize this when I downloaded this app. It has nothing to do with paranormal at all. It's actually to hear the sounds that come out from the air for birds and stuff like that. And it's called, I don't know if you can see it that well. Oh, no. it's called Merlin. Bird app. Oh, well. And yeah. it, it listens to birds all over the world, and uh, it will tell you what bird it is, but you can record on it. And it has the most sensitive recording that I've ever seen. It can oh. pick up my cat snoring. <laughs> wow. I use, um, I have got a bloody brilliant voice recorder uh standalone voice recorder that i use but mm -hmm. the thing is when you come home you've got to take the card out or put a lead in and download it all yeah but i i've got my phone i've got a an app called um a voice recorder app called dolby on mm -hmm. dolby on okay and it's brilliant so you've got you, you don't have to bother about having a voice recorder in your phone and blah blah and all this. Yeah. You just go with your phone up and press Dolby on, mm -hmm. and you can highlight bits that you think might be an EVP and such. That's cool. It's it, Dolby um, and enhance bits called Dolby on. So yeah. I use that now. Oh, I, wow. I, I I tend to just go out with that and uh, the camera, the video, you know, and that's where I get most of my um, evidence. Mm, wow. Yeah. I have, uh, one of those smart watches and it has a recorder on it and apparently yeah. you get them on that too. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's just something else. I mean, a lot of people enjoy doing that, but it's just something else. I, I, I just come home and I, I can't be bothered to download stuff off the voice recorder. I've got it there on my phone, and then I can just plug it in and listen to it on my headphones. See if there's anything there. I can watch the video on there. 
and it's all on wood device. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's I, what I, never, do. I kind of wish I never took apart my other phone because it was a really nice phone for recording stuff on it, but I took it apart. Yeah. So I wanted to change the camera into a full spectrum camera. So I was learning how to oh, try to wow. do that on. I was trying to learn how to do that on um, uh, YouTube. They were showing that, but it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. You just you take the filter, you take the what's it filter out, don't you? To... Uh, mm. You get to a little piece of glass that's on the camera itself. And yeah, on the lens. Back, put everything back together, and it didn't work the way I wanted it to. So I just. Uh, oh well. Keep trying these things. Yeah. Anyway, coming up on ten minutes left. Um, yeah, has anyone got any questions? Have we got many people in the chat, Eric? Or is, is there not, not many not for tonight? Questions. Not for Not for questions. No. No. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I record, but I still use my senses too. Yeah, yeah. That is exactly right. Your senses are the best thing, you know. For some of my team. The tech guy will have most of the technology, and if he's interfering with the K2, he walks away and puts on his cover so that we can be yeah. as uh, authentic as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, yeah, that's, that's my problem. I'm a tech guy, but I'm also learning to do it other ways too. Like, um, I guess, like some of my senses from a long time ago are coming back. So, yeah. Yeah, you, you get, I think you get the feeling, don't you, when you're out there mm -hmm. without any equipment at all. It's senses we've lost over the years, isn't it? <clears throat> recording in that same spirit box. No, it's just a recording. Like uh, like when you take uh, notes and stuff, Lorna, for like, you can download yeah, a it, voice recorder. Yeah, the it, it's just a voice recorder app. That you can download on your phone mm. or doll beyond yeah and it's just a, a little bit better than the normal voice recorder on the phone although it's still using the same technology it's just you can enhance stuff bits of it and you can share it to social media without going yeah, through yeah. having to download stuff off you uh, uh, a a pucker voice recorder william yeah, yeah. we're nearly finished yeah we're nearly finished Dolby on. Dolby on, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Have a look at Dolby on. It's free. Don't, don't cost you nothing. Okay. And it's uh, it's a good little app. It is. It's good. Because the the um, the voice recorders on your phone normally, you can't just share. If you, if you do a, a recording on your phone, you can't just press a button and share it to social media or wherever. Yeah. You have to download it, uh, sometimes convert it, and then share it. But with the Dolby On app, you can record, uh, press share, and it will go on to social media with your uh, EVPs and that. Catherine, I'm That's the good. psychic medium for my group as well as the lead investigator. I know that I get... And I've been validated more times than I've got hairs on my head. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. That's good. Good, Catherine. I've got names, uh, Annette. I've got names not in the public domain, and I've been able to find them later through research. Yeah. And speaking of yeah, yeah. Annette, uh, Annette, you are doing the most haunted places in England? This weekend or this Friday? The village. Yeah, she's going to Puckley and that is Nettie. Okay. Yeah. Puckley. I've got um it's argue arguably there's another place called Presbury, which is in Gloucestershire. Mm -hmm. Um my brother in law's got a pub there and uh, oh, wow. that's very haunted too. And people will argue which is the most haunted village. <laughs> Yeah, Pluckley, yeah. Presbury uh, is places. That's got a lot of uh, spirit and hauntings around there. That's cool. Yeah. 
I love that. And yeah, I can't wait till I come. I really can't. <laughs> can't you? Mm. What month are you coming over, Eric? Have you got it planned or? Oh, I got a plan. I just don't know exactly to the day. You know when? My brother-in-law. No, no, he, he's not. Uh, he's my brother-in-law. No, he's not had anything happen in the pub, but the mm. village is supposedly it's Prestbury, Prestbury, in Gloucestershire, and it's arguably. <laughs> People will argue that that is Buckley and Prestbury, yeah, uh, which is the most haunted. But um, I've um, obviously been over there and stayed at his pub. It's called the Beehive. Oh wow! Um, I've been over and stayed there many times and not had any 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 stuff in the pub itself happen. But the old part of the Village but it's, it's actually connected to Cheltenham, okay. not too far from the racetrack. And um, no, I've not had any experiences whatsoever, wow. to be honest, around there. Yeah, can't wait for my trip to Europe, it's going to be probably next year. Yeah, it's when I'm well, going over to England. Where's Catherine live then? She lives in America here. Um, oh, right, okay, South. I know that. <laughs> Yeah, Catherine's coming to England as well. I guess so. Or Europe. I think oh. Europe is more of a broad band of Italy, um, Germany. Yeah. And they are doing the Poltergeist Prince of London on Sunday. Oh, wow. Cool. Wow. That is cool. I want to see that. Yeah. you got to test me. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Oh yeah, but yeah, I, there's it's gonna be the later half of summer or winter, spring, later half of spring, and then all summer, all fall, and then come back close to where winter starts here. Yeah, yeah, me too, Catherine. I got to see everything. That's why I went up climbing. You won't have time in a few weeks or months or mine will be six months and then i'll have to come back here for a month and a half to two months and then i'm back over so i think we got yeah. it planned out every year where we come here during the winter time only last three or four months and then start fall again or spring i'll be back over there summer fall and then come back again even though I should change it because I don't like our winters here. Yeah, you should do it the other way around. Yeah, I should do it the other way around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you should come over for winter here. Yeah. You'll never want to leave, Catherine. You'll never want to leave. I'll stay until I feel like leaving. Mm -hmm. Catherine, you come. Come to England. Yeah. But if I get the golden visa, I can be over there as long as I want. Yeah. Exciting times, Eric. Oh, yeah. Mm. And Catherine. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. So what's happening next? Where, where are we? Oh, we're almost on the hour. What, what's, yep. um, what we got tomorrow, then? Oh, and that was uh, going to that village. Yeah. <laughs> Plot, please. She's doing the Poltergeist Prince of London. Paul Guys Prince of London on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Wow, that'd be interesting. And then probably Luckily. village on Friday. Mm. Oh. I'm uh, I'm on with low tomorrow on the uh, on the what's it, so I'll have to I'll have to watch him on catch up. No far too. Uh, what's that word? Stupid. Say yes. so far too stupid. <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't think there's a golden visa, uh, uh, visa for uh, the U.S. I think you can come over here as long as you want. Mm, I don't know. I'd love to go. I, I, I'm a big country music fan, and uh, I'd love to go to Nashville. I've never been to America. That'd be great. 
Thank you, Derek. I'd love to go to Nashville, and I'd also I like the blues. I'd like to go down to New Orleans and Mississippi, mm -hmm. and that that's I, New York and them kind of places don't appeal to me at all. But yeah. I fancy uh, Nashville. I do. Well, yeah. guys, we're up in an hour. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Everybody be safe, and we will see you next time we're on. Bye. Bye.